All right. Okay, so we want to build a custom home page for Lightning Experience. So when you log into Salesforce, you have a home page, right? So let's head over to our Trailhead Playground. I'm on my Trailhead Playground here. So if I change this to any apps, so we are going to um, the sales app here. This is an app, right? So go to our sales app and you have the home page of the sales app. Okay. So on each, each app, you can define your own um, custom home page. Now we are on the marketing app. We, we also have um, a home page as well. So we can define what the home page for an app load. Um, also, we can decide based on the profile of the user who is watching it or who is using it. So if you are a sales a staff, how you will see the marketing app, the home page, you can differentiate that, make it different than a, an executive, for example, a manager, and they go to the marketing app, right? They will see differently, different charts, different dashboards and reports. So you can customize based on profile as well. So let's go back to our sales app. This is what we have right now. And we are going to customize this um, through the trailhead together. So basically, um, let's create a custom homepage for the sales app. All right. So I'm going to follow these instructions um, together. So first off, we are going to the setup gear icon here. Setup. And then Lightning App Builder, find there. Lightning App Builder. We're going to make a new home page. New home page is a home page. And next, and then let's name it um, Sales Home Page. Okay. You can also maybe name it sales homepage for managers, sales homepage for directors, and then assign those according to the profile of the user who is, uh, who is using it, all right? So now we are going to just create a sales homepage. So you can see um, how the regions are divided, standard like that, header and tree region, and then you can also create custom ones. So we are going to use the standard home page for now. Actually, let's take a look at our trailhead. And we want to use the standard home page there. So let's follow. So standard home page will look something like that. Okay. So this is the canvas. This is the available lightning components. You can drag to the canvas. And what do we want to have here? Okay. Now, first off, um, drag the assistant component to the top right region, assistant component. So this is the assistant, top right. Once you drag a component, you can configure it here, the properties of this component, okay? This is a component visibility. You can add filter. So basically you can filter, um, show this, only when a criteria is met. We're not going to do this right now, but know that you can filter. Uh, this is a dynamic um, criteria. So show this component if a certain things uh, is met. Okay. All right. So next we want to add um, performance to the top left region, performance to the top left region. So you can search the component you want to use here. So top left, let's drag it there, the performance. Um, and then you can also filter it, but we're not going to do that for now. Add today's events to the lower left region and add keys, uh, key deals to the lower right region. So today's events. 
I'm going to search that two days. What's happening for today, right? And then key deals on the right side there, okay? So once you've add your components here, you can save it. Click save here, right? And then once you save it, you want to activate it because just saving this page, it will save for you, but no one will be able to access it or use it. So we want to activate that, okay? So we want to activate that. Now, assigning as an org default, so the org default homepage is displayed unless more specific assignment are made. So if we assign as org default the whole organization, the whole organization, the whole company or the whole organization, when they go to the sales app, they will see your new page, your new custom page, right? And what is this one? This is if you want to assign this to the app. So you can assign this to the sales app like this is the sales app, right? Sales, this is the sales app. You can also maybe you want to assign that homepage to the marketing app here. If you assign it to a marketing app, it will only show the homepage if, if you go to the marketing app. Otherwise, it will not show. So you can also assign to any app and profile assignments displayed for a specified app and profile combination so for this particular like i said before if you want to different to display different um home page for the directors managers different staff is different so you use this one you combine sales and then it has to be a manager then they can see this custom one and then you can create a new one it has to be marketing and then directors and then you can see another custom home page for that particular um, people all right so for this we want to click activate so we are not going to so yeah we're just going to activate and then do we want to assign it as an org default no let's just activate but then we want to um, choose um, system administrator profile for the sales app okay like we said before so i'm going to assign it to app and profile here i'm going to assign it for sales is the app and the profile is the sysadmin sysadmin which is our trailhead user is a sysadmin next and save all right i'm going to save this guy again and then we are pretty much done or we can stay here and I'm going to refresh here or go to my sales app now since it's been activated see today events key deals quarterly performance and assistant it's active now it's the home page right so we did it so that's how you can customize home pages for apps for the whole organization and also for a specific profile on your Salesforce org. So that's basically it. Now let's do the challenge, which is practically the same thing. We are going to do it again. So homepage, sales home, standard homepage. So we're going to create a new one. I'm going to go back here and go back to Lightning App Builder. And make a new one now we're just going to say sales home instead of um, sales home page and then what do we want to use here standard home page and then it doesn't say which layout all right so i think it's free we can just use the standard or oh, the standard home page here so finish and we want to add add standard components to your sales homepage. It doesn't say where, so it's free. Performance assistant, today's task, and key deal. So performance. Basically what we just did, right? Key deals. 
assistant it's basically exactly what we just did today's task and then app assignment um, sales and custom sales profile so let's save and activate for sales app here sales and for the profile is custom sales profile here so the sales people will see that new home page and nobody else just the sales people and save again and that's it so it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty easy to do so you can customize any other stuff and you can drag um, many more components here so do play around you know try stuff and how it looks like what kind of configuration so if you drag it on here for example well i'm not gonna mess this up because we want to take the challenge first right so let's grab the challenge first and then yeah play around do play around like drag some more components and try what kind of properties they have and to get the hang of it all right so we get the points so now i'm gonna show you a bit like if you drag um, list view here on the right side you can drag below it right so you can define like what um, object you want to see hmm? you can choose what cases or whatever and then you can filter it you can you can define number of records to display just play around so you get more experience building home page um, and lightning pages all right that's it i'll see you on the next one bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom